Improvements have been made to the electrode functionality in PowerShape 2015 R2. We can now make multi-impression electrodes using the electrode wizard. I'm going to demonstrate this by creating one electrode to machine both of these two different features here. Now on another level I have some solids pre-created that I'm going to create part of my electrode from. Now I still need to create the solids to machine this feature here. And I'm going to do this by using my electrode wizard. So with my part as my active solid, I can open up my electrode wizard. Here I can select one or multiple regions, holding down my shift key, of the features that I want to create an electrode from. Now I can hit preview and you can see that my solids are created. I can now exit out of the wizard at this stage and just keep my solids. I get a warning box and it tells me I can re-enter the wizard later if I want to. So now I've got these two extra solids but I'm not quite ready to start creating my multi-impression electrode yet. If I just select my part and hide it and view from the side, you'll see that my electrodes are at very different heights. And to create a multi-impression electrode, we need them to be at the same height. So that top face needs to be level. So we can do this by using the replace face functionality. I'm going to select one of my solids, select a face, replace face, choose the face. You see we get a preview of that and I can apply and close that down. I need to do that with the next one, select my solid, select my face, replace face, and now I've done that. The next thing that I need to do is move some of my solids so they can be positioned in the correct location so I can create one electrode which is going to do a multi-impression burn. So I can move either these two or these five solids and you'll see that I've got a couple of work planes here. Now the solids I'm going to move are these five here and I'm going to do a simple rotation first of all. I'm going to rotate them around this work plane that I've positioned in. So I'm just going to activate that work plane, select my solids, I'm going to go to my general edits and say rotate around the Z axis minus 90. Once I've done this, I can do a simple move to move these solids to position them the same distance away from this work plane as this work plane. So with my solid selected, I'm going to do a simple move for two points from the one work plane to my second work plane. And I'm going to say OK. Once I've done this, I'm ready to create my multi-impression electrode. So I'm going to show my part. I need to make sure I've got all of my solids selected. So I'll just zoom in, holding down my shift key, I'll select all of those. And now I'm going to go back into my electrode wizard. Go to my wizards menu and to create an electrode. I'm just going to use a user-defined blank, hit next. I can choose a holder if I want to. For this example, I'm not going to bother. I can hit next. I'm not going to create a setup sheet. I'm just going to say finish. And you can see we've created one electrode. Improvements have been made to the electrode tree. You can see now 
that we have electrodes in the tree and they're not simply added as assemblies. The colour of this electrode here corresponds to whether we're using a graphite or copper electrode. To create our multi-impression electrode, we need to create a copy of this first electrode that we've created. So I can select that electrode and I'm going to move it using two work planes. And you'll see that my work planes that I have put in, if I select this one, the X direction is facing towards my second burn region. And if you look at my second work plane, my X direction is also pointing towards my second burn region. So, with my electrode selected, I'm going to go back into my electrode wizard, and this time it asks me if I want to create a copy, which I do. And I want to create a copy with two movements, because I want my electrode to twist around and machine in here. So I'm prompted to select a source work plane, which is this work plane here. Then a destination work plane, which is my work plane here. I'm not going to generate setup sheets for this demonstration. I'm just going to say finish. We get a query and it's asking us if we want to register the new burn information. So this is our second burn region. I'm going to say yes. You can see that when I do this, we've got a copy of our original electrode where it's machining in the second direction. If you look at our tree now, we've got this dice representing the first burn region and then two dots representing the second burn region. And that is how you create a multi-impression electrode using Delcam Electrode Wizard.